<laughs> my nails look all brown. Oh my god. You guys, <laughs> what's up, you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming out to live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada, you guys. Or it's just a perfect day to, you know, coffee dye some paper outside and not have to deal with your oven. It's perfect time. It's like, I don't know, 105, 110 degrees outside. So I decided, you know what, let's coffee dye some paper. So that is pretty much what I have done today. Pretty much to the tune of almost... 500 sheets of paper. I want to say it's almost because I did take from a pack of paper that was opened, but there was nowhere near a significant amount missing. So that is what I grabbed to work on today. These are all dried. These are all ironed. I am selling them in my shop. I have plenty for sale. Uh, well, I have like eight of them for sale <laughs> and then I'll be making more. But if you guys are interested, I have not yet, um, I've not yet made the image <laughs> for the actual listing, but I did post it up for sale if you guys are interested. I had these sheets outside and I would have waited for them to dry entirely, but then I would not have made a video today. So I just kind of grabbed them. They're a little bit damp. They're not entirely dry. But my iron is on high and my iron um, should be enough to dry them. So I did, I tried a couple of methods to get all of these sheets done. Um, at first I did what I normally do, which is I take um, a baking, a glass baking pan or whatever. And I would dip one piece of paper take the piece of paper out and then kind of lay the piece of paper on like a towel or a piece of fabric or something. But that took forever. So then I watched another video and this girl just kind of like had a big old bucket <laughs> and she would just kind of paint on the coffee. That's what she said. She said she would paint on the coffee and then kind of set them out to dry like three to four sheets in a stack, just like all on top of each other. So I tried that method and you know what? I like that method because I got a lot more papers done. And like I said, I live in Las Vegas and right now is just the perfect time to lay things out outside to dry. <laughs> it's just the perfect time for it. It's very, very hot right now. So my paper, it does take about an hour to dry because I am putting it in, in many layers. I'm not drying one sheet at a time. If I was drying one sheet at a time, I'm pretty sure they would dry even faster. But again, I'm just trying to get them done as fast as I can. So that was the method that I did. I'll post, I think I have the video somewhere in my history I can share with you guys but basically I got a big plastic tub and I would um, lay down basically like a lasagna <laughs> like I would lay down some coffee as the first layer then I would layer on uh, three sheets of paper to uh, and then I would grab my little bucket well, not my bucket I would grab my um, coffee pot full of coffee. There's a pot, not a coffee pot, a pot full of coffee. And uh, paint on top of three pieces of paper. I just made sure that I had enough uh, coffee in there to kind of, well, I had enough, an excess of coffee. I'm going to say an excess because it was not just enough. Now, because I did try to do three pages at once. I had to make sure that the pages underneath the top page were also getting coffee. So when I would paint it on top, I would make sure that the coffee was coming out the side. And then that I would brush on top. So make sure that the coffee is getting to the pages underneath. And so I've basically been coffee dyeing papers all day long. That's pretty much <laughs> all I've done today. My hands really, really hurt. Hi, Zena. 
But I was like, you know what? Let's make a little video of me just ironing. It's not a lot of action, but trust me, it was a lot of action all day long. Now, now that I'm doing this with the papers that were kind of wet, I think I do prefer to wait till the papers are entirely dry to iron. I feel like they, they are a lot more flatter. But it's not a significant difference that I'm like, oh, this is not the method. I still got a lot of pieces of paper done all at one time, and I'm really happy about it. Um, I also tried this one method where the person, um, basically it was the same method as putting the, <clears throat> the papers in a bucket and putting the coffee on top. She used a spray bottle. I didn't have a spray bottle. So I did the same thing and I painted and I would dunk a coffee in there with my little ladle. <laughs> and uh, I'm still waiting for them to dry. I think she lets them dry in that bucket. So I'm just going to let them dry and we'll see what they look like tomorrow. Hi, Patricia. What's up, girl? How are you? So you can see I'm literally trying the paper with my iron. I just didn't wait long enough. I'm a little impatient today. Well, I was for the video. I waited a whole hour. And like I said, because they were not in single uh, layer, it, take, it took them a little bit longer to dry. But you know what? Comparing to the papers that I didn't do this way, I feel like the iron almost does the same thing as the stove, kind of gives it like a richer color. It almost burns the coffee stains. So I'm kind of digging that, that the paper can be damp and you can still get the same effect as um, when you put it in the oven. Like you can see the steam come off the paper because <laughs> I am literally drying it with the iron. I didn't want to wait all the way, so here we are. Here we are. I'm excited about the paper that I have out there with the, I put it out there with plastic lace, I should say. I used plastic doilies, plastic. It was basically a lace uh, tablecloth that um, LaRonda Lee gave me a while ago. Last year, I believe, I think last year. And um, cut it up. And I did my little coffee dye, and hopefully the effect sticks around. I'm good, Patricia. I found out my parents are now negative for COVID-19, so that's great. <laughs> they told me today, I'm like, yeah. Because like I said, my dad was positive for like a week after my mom. Now everybody's negative, and I'm happy. Ooh, I'm letting this paper dry. Yeah, it definitely bakes on the color like your oven would. I'm just think I just feel like I'm getting a darker color than the ones that I did in iron while they were kind of damp. So that's a nice discovery. Definitely getting a darker color than the other ones and darker spots too. The other ones were kind of one color, one note. This is good. I'm happy about this. So now you know. If you iron it while it's slightly damp, just damp to the touch, you might get the same effect as baking it. So that's good to know. Oh, oh. So I went, I wanted to find a lined stamp, like I told you guys yesterday. Like I need a stamp that just has lines on it. So <laughs> I always want plain, simple things, and I feel like that takes, like that's impossible to find. So I went to Michael's, not there. I went to Hobby Lobby, not there. I went to, I went to Joann's. I just stepped foot in Joann's, and I noticed there was like a long line. Like, there must have been, like, 10 people in line. And I just said, nope, too many people. And I just walked out. So I don't know if Joanne's had it. Um, but I ended up ordering it from Amazon. And I believe it should be here tomorrow. 
So I'm excited about that. And then I also ordered a line step from Etsy. I don't know when that'll get here, but that's cool. So I'm a little excited about these new stamps I'm getting. Because I didn't know that I needed. <laughs> I didn't know that I needed line stamps. Oh yeah, these papers have some nice rich colors on them. Let me see if I can show you the difference. So these papers right here, I just dried probably indoors, out in the air. See the difference this way. So these are the ones that I just ironed. These ones are here that I'm touching. I just ironed these ones. They were slightly damp. They weren't wet, but they were damp. And um, I feel... Like if we look through them, you can see more variation of color on these papers, but then there's some here too. But you can definitely see some more darker spots on the ones that I ironed while they were damp. And I feel like that kind of gives me the look of, uh, uh, of putting them in the oven. I feel like it. It's not scientifically proven or anything, but that's how I feel. Xena, yes. I Well, you know what? Maybe coffee dyeing like 20 of them was cool, but I literally coffee dyed 500 pages today, and that was, it was less fun. <laughs> At first, like I said, I was kind of laying them out to dry, like in single layer, like one by one, and every page I would like bend down. I wish I had tables, um, extra tables to use. But I just laid sheets down on the floor. I have a lot of floor space. Um, and I laid down some towels. And I was just laying them on there like one layer at a time. And that was just too time consuming. So I'm glad I watched this other video where she literally just would like dry them three, four sheets on top of each other. So I said, you know what, let me try that. <laughs> and that's been more productive. I've been putting them outside and... I've been trying to dry them here inside my house, but then I kind of moved stuff around in the backyard. I made a table out of a ladder. <laughs> I put a ladder on top of some stuff, made it into a shelf, and then um, <laughs> I put, oh, I put some pillowcases on top that I don't ever use. So I put some pillowcases in between the ladder. <laughs> And I made that into a table. I found some other cardboard box out there. Flipped that upside down. And I said, now you're a table. <laughs> what is good, though, is that you really don't have to worry about, like, dust or anything that gets on your paper. Because once it's dried, you can just brush off the dust or whatever. So there was a lot of dusty things back there. I also put stuff on top of the, the washing machine that's out there. I put stuff on top of all sorts of stuff over there. <laughs> so luckily I didn't have any bad results. I could have ruined a lot of paper. <laughs> I could have ruined a lot of paper. So I'm really happy um, that these turned out good. And I'm really excited to see my doily paper. I don't know how long it's going to take because it is a nice big, it's not really that much paper because I really only put like two pages per layer. So basically like I made a lasagna out of printer paper, coffee, and plastic uh, doilies. So it's a couple of layers deep, but there's really not that many pages there because I only put two pages per layer in the paper. I've been slacking lately on my junk journal projects. Haven't been motivated. You know what? It happens, girl. It happens to everybody. When I'm not really motivated to do anything, I'll do simple things like this. Like, I'll just coffee dye one day. Or I'll clean my desk off. You know what I mean? I'll reorganize. That kind of thing. You know, it gets you excited about finding all these stuff that you forgot that you had sometimes. Sometimes that's just the spark that you need, you know? So just take it one step at a time, do little things, and you'll get that. You'll get that spark back. <laughs> <laughs>
Because, <laughs> like, even if you're just coffee dyeing, technically you don't feel like you're being, you know, like an artist or whatever, you know what I mean? But you are working towards, you know, making your art in the end. And you'll make a lot of it because you spent a whole day coffee dyeing papers. <laughs> like me. Oh, yeah. And I might have, this coffee might have been a little bit darker than the other coffee. I did use two different types of coffees. At first, I was using this one Walmart brand coffee that had like, I think like, oh, yeah, it had, it had vanilla flavor in the coffee. I didn't really like the coffee itself. So, <laughs> so I made it into coffee dye paper. There we go. Thank you so much, Patricia. I would appreciate your little thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this video. I know I'm just talking and ironing paper. <laughs> but look how much paper I have. Oh my gosh, I feel so proud of myself. Oh my gosh. That's exactly how I felt today. I was like, what can I do today? I don't really feel like the most creative person in the planet right now. So... It's like, you know what I haven't done in a hot minute is <laughs> just coffee dye a big old stack of paper. And I did decide to put this up in my shop because I, I'm going to make more. I have a lot more coffee to make. So now that I kind of found an easy technique and it's super hot outside, right now is the time for me to coffee dye some paper. But you know what? I do like ironing it while it's damp. I don't know if the coffee's darker, but I just feel like it's giving it some some really nice dark spots like the oven would. And I like that. Um, so I'm literally finishing off drying the paper with my little iron here. And it's kind of giving me the same effect as if I would have waited for it to be completely dry. <laughs> but I needed some content. Hi, Michelle. How are ya? So some of them do have some white areas, which is cool. Oh my goodness. I have enough to make a million books right here. And that they're all kind of getting out of the way because I had to have them all piled up. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Our little cat. Okay. I'm watching the steam rise off this paper. <laughs> it looks like it makes it more smoother. I, you know what, these papers aren't that wrinkly right now because they're damp. Usually from the oven they come out really, really damp. I mean, really, really crinkly. But honestly, it, the, the, the smoothness of them doesn't really seem to, to be different than if, you know, in the final, in the final, um, Results, I don't think that uh, ironing damp paper makes it any smoother. I don't think so. It looks the same as when I waited till they were completely dried. I just feel, because again, I'm not a scientist, but I feel like it's giving it the same effect as um, putting it in the oven because there's some spots that are way darker than others. I don't know if that's because I did it in a different technique. Maybe it's because it's a different coffee. Maybe I use more coffee. But I just like feel like I'm, I'm almost like baking the paper and getting a little bit of a darker color. But it is coming out nice and smooth. I'm not having an issue with it. Um, the only difference is basically when I wait for the paper to completely dry, it is more wrinkled than this right here that is slightly damp. That is true. I just dyed a bunch of papers today. I'm using magnolias. They came out really pretty yellow. That's interesting. 
Hey, Reem. I don't know if I'm interested in dyeing things with art with natural colorings. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm the type of girl to just pull out a yellow alcohol ink and dye my paper yellow if I want it to be yellow. But I get trying to be, you know, I get experimenting. I get it. I get it. Yes, bake it. So this is what I did today. <laughs> this is all I've been doing. <laughs> this is like my third time ironing papers today in large batches. And I still have probably this many outside waiting for me. I thought this might be one hour's worth of material, maybe. But I still have more to go pick up if I need it. Overall, I'm happy with the technique that um, I watched on YouTube because my way was just taking forever. It just was. I hope those doilies turn out. I don't know. Let me see. I think the top two papers from that stash were done. Hang on, let me go get them. Give me one second. One second. One second. <laughs> So I'm going to just leave this off to the side so I can dry a little bit more. These are the top two papers that I did with the doily design. I see some faintness of it. Very, very faint on this one. Maybe I didn't get them wet enough. Huh. Maybe the rest will be better. I don't know. This one just looks normal. So maybe the bottom layers will be better. Oh, we'll see. I, I was experimenting. <laughs> you never iron them? You could just put them under like heavy books, but I just made so many of them that I don't think that I would have enough space to try and flatten them out naturally. You could definitely just put them underneath a heavy book. <laughs> you could also not iron them at all. It's also a look. There's nothing wrong with not ironing your papers if you don't want to. Some people are into that look and that's cool. That's totally cool. <laughs> This is definitely an extra step that you, you don't need to take, but I do like to take because I like my papers to be flatter. Just a little bit flatter. And in this case, I'm a little bit lazy, so I didn't want to wait for these to dry naturally. So they were slightly damp, and I'm basically trying them with the iron. I like it. I like ironing my papers. You just get static sometimes and they want to fall away. It's kind of funny. Okay, so here we go. Again, I'm drying it. <laughs> you could wait until the paper is dry to iron it. Or be like me and kind of iron, uh, dry it with the iron. Good. I do find that the edges kind of curl a little bit more than when I would wait for the paper to be dry. But it'll lay up in the middle of a bunch of paper so it'll straighten out. They don't end up curly. Items. 
myself happy with all this paper. One. Like I said, not a very exciting live today, but what are you going to do? Oh, 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 like I said, I went to uh, Hobby Lobby and Michael's today, and I did end up buying an ink pad. Mm. I bought the big archival ink pad in black um just because sometimes i need a bigger ink pad in black and the one that i have from close to my heart is dead and the mini one is cool sometimes sometimes i have a bigger stamp <laughs> so i got that ink, ink pad just in black it was like four bucks i think it was on sale yeah it was like 40 percent off Hobby Lobby was looking a little empty, y'all. It was looking a little empty, like empty shelf. I don't like that. That worries me when I see empty shelves. But they did have a lot of boxes around, so maybe they're just not restocking as much. Hi, Paper Kitty. How are you? My hands are killing me. I really need to stop, but... But the show must go on. Okay, look here. Okay, okay. I hope I don't ruin the design by ironing it. Oof. It might be too wet. And I think I might have just burnt my iron image in here. Which is great, Daisy. That's just great. That's what he wanted. <laughs> yeah. Might be a little too damp. This is the doily paper and it might be a little wet might be a little too wet i'm just trying to see if the design stays but i might have to <laughs> wait till the morning till it actually dries these are just the top couple pages and i just left them in the plastic container all layered up so we'll see how that goes Okay, so there's nothing on this page that'll suggest a doily design. So let me see, see this other page. It just needs to dry a little bit more. You see the iron I burnt on there? I burnt an iron image <laughs> on the one doily paper that did have the doily design. So I'm mad at myself. <laughs> the one paper that mattered. Oh, this looks good. I'm happy. And then putting the pages on top of each other kind of burns the image on the other pages, which I really like. Something else that's different. This paper is way too curvy. I have been like struggling with how am I going to dry these papers outside. What would be perfect is if I had, you know, those, um, long plastic tables that they have like at like outdoor gatherings you know when you have a party and they bring out <clears throat> those foldable plastic tables like if i had those it would be perfect but i don't <laughs> and they're not cheap my goodness brand new i think they're like 50 or 60 dollars for like a six foot table and then used i saw them for like the same price almost and i'm just like why are y'all trying to sell something for full price that is used but you know whatever i looked for it on uh, facebook marketplace i looked for it on craigslist they want top dollar <laughs> for these plastic tables which i'm not saying they don't deserve i'm just saying i'm not willing to pay that much 
so like I said, I ended, I ended up grabbing the ladder, laying it across some things to make a shelf, and then covering it with pillow covers that I don't use <laughs> to put my papers on top of. And uh, it did work. It did work. But I wish I had those tables that would just make it so much easier. But like my calculations, I would need about four of those tables, and that's like already two hundred dollars because they cost like fifty dollars each. So I'm just like, ah, uh. because <laughs> I don't mind drying them indoors, but like <sighs> I've been laying them on the ground is just not working for my back. <laughs> I need like a table. So putting them outside, at least I had them on all sorts of different surfaces and not on the floor. So my bank, my, my back was thankful for that. <laughs> I was just determined. I'm like, it's so hot outside, you know, today. It would just be the perfect time to coffee dry, coffee dye papers outside or dry them outside, I should say. Gosh, I did not stay out there the whole time to copy dye them. That would be crazy. But I just decided today was the day. Today was the day. I've, had, I've been staring at these two 500-page reams for I don't know how long. <clears throat> I'm like, I'm finally, today's the day. Today's just the day. You find what works. I use the baby litter trays that I found at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, I put a stack in each and leave them out to dry. So you just leave a whole stack out to dry because, I, you know, I figured that that would work in theory, but I've just been kind of afraid to just mess up a whole bunch of papers. So you literally, because I've been thinking about it, so you grab the plastic tray, you load up your coffee and your pages, and then you just put that whole tray outside. Right, Zena is, uh, that's my question. I just want to make sure I'm understanding because in my head, I thought it would work. But again, I don't want to end up with like a whole bucket full of mush. You know what I mean? A whole bucket full <laughs> of mush. That's what I'm afraid of. This is relaxing to watch, but your poor arm. <laughs> yeah, my arm is actually, my hand hurts. My hand, not even my arm. And I was like, you know what? I popped a few Tylenols, and I'm, you know what? Like, the show must go on, you know? <laughs> it must go on. Okay, so let's see. Getting water. Drying it out, because it's, like I said, it's damp. All these papers here are damp. And this just does the trick. And these ones did kind of get to dry flat. The first bunch that I did, a lot of the papers were not so flat. Because <laughs> some of them were like slumped over something. I spray them and layer them on top of each other. So you spray them. I just don't have a spray. I have to go buy a spray bottle. So that's why I was painting it on. But okay, I could just leave a whole bucket outside to dry. Okay. Okay, I like I said, I thought in theory it would work. I just did not want to waste a whole bunch of paper to find out. <laughs> okay, Zena, I appreciate your input. I will definitely um, test it out myself. Just try this. You guys, my my stock of paper is kind of ridiculous now. Let me show y'all. Oh my god. I just don't want it to all slip out of my hands like cards. Okay, so this is what I've done today. See this? This looks like a dictionary, like an ancient dictionary right here. So this is just what I've coffee dyed today. And ironed. I ironed every single sheet. <laughs> I also use 
food color. Yes, I use alcohol inks. I can't. I'm not going to sit here and boil up beets, y'all. Like, I'm sorry. I don't. I'm not going to sit over here with a bag of onion peels. Like, I don't know. It's just. <sighs> I get that it's fun. I get it. It's a good experiment. But just give me that artificial color. Like, that's what I want. <laughs> I find it better works to get that doily pattern spray. Okay, yeah, she did use the spray method. Like I said, I just don't have a spray bottle, so I couldn't exactly follow every single step. If I iron it with the iron, is it going to take away the pattern? That's the question I want to know. I can't believe I put an iron pattern on my paper. <laughs> that was not the idea. Okay, so painting it on. Oh, God, that looks gross. It looks like alligator skin or something. Okay, it might have needed to be sprayed. <laughs> like the video said, I'll have to make sure and grab a spray bottle then. And then your tip on, uh, on kitty litter trays. Thank you. That's helpful. That, that could work. They are huge, aren't they? They are pretty big. That's a good tip. I'll have to go get a spray bottle. Nice to have it done for hard work. Yes, GG, girl. Oh, my God. Oh, and you know what? I feel like when I bake paper, maybe I bake it too long, it gets brittle. I don't know if you guys have noticed that with your coffee dyed paper that you bake. I feel like the paper is brittle if you leave it under too long. And I actually tend to leave it under too long, I believe. I do believe that. Let's see here. So now I feel like all those toilet papers are probably not going to work because I didn't spray it on. Maybe I didn't get enough coffee on there. Oh, gosh. Good thing I only experimented. I'm going to say it's maybe like 18 pages. So we'll have to. Oh, oh, Zena, when you do the doily one, is that the one you just leave out to dry? That's what I did. I didn't actually watch the whole video. So I wasn't sure if she left them out to dry, but I did. Obviously, you can't bake it because it's got plastic. Oh, oh, where did you get your plastic doilies? Because I'm going to have to buy more if I'm going to do a large bunch of it. I have some, but not a lot. So I'd have to go buy some. Do they have that at the dollar store? I don't think I've ever looked at the dollar store to see if they have plastic doilies. I think I've seen it sold by the foot at Walmart. I want to say. Oh my God, it's been a full time job dyeing this coffee today, this coffee paper today. <laughs> Literally a full time job. I don't even know what time I started. This is all I've done all day. <laughs> Okay. I don't know why my paper is getting staticky. It's literally getting staticky. Hey, Rhonda. Oh my God, it's not writing me. What's up, lady? Oh my god, I want to go to California so bad. I really do. I actually really do, but I want to feel comfortable when I go up there. <sighs> Two rings of paper, copy that paper. Wow. 
almost two reams. It was just one ream. I do have another one that's staring at me. I'm going to do that soon. Probably wait till the week, like Monday or something. I'm going to take the weekend off. <laughs> I use vintage paper doilies. I bought them at the shop. Just leave them in between the paints. I can't find any plastic ones. Rhonda, Rhonda, where do you get your plastic doilies? Did you just like come across them at thrift shops or did you find them at the store? Rhonda, I need to know Rhonda. Ah, my finger. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Looks so pretty. I love it. coffee dyed papers the other day. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're good, Rhonda. You're good. But where did you get your plastic doilies, Rhonda? Did you, I think they look a little old or did you buy them brand new? Question, question for Rhonda. Just a little question. Because I need, I like I said, I think I've seen a roll of, I think I want to say, I want to, now I'm questioning my memories, but I want to say that I've seen plastic doilies at Walmart by the foot. That could be wrong. I actually bought mine years ago to use on my table at Thanksgiving. Hey, Thanksgiving's coming up. Maybe they're, <laughs> maybe they'll have uh, doily tablecloths for sale again. So maybe at some point, maybe during Thanksgiving, they have them out for sale. I'll have to pay attention. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I have it set to the hottest setting, which might be a little overkill, but it's been working. I'm okay not adding coffee dyed papers to my projects. Just once in a while, I'll get the crazy feeling like I want a coffee dyed paper. And then I have a large stash because I'll do it for like a couple of days straight. And then once it's done, it's done. I have not had coffee dyed paper in a long time, actually. Daiso. Do you have Daiso in Las Vegas? That's where I got plastic lace table runner. And Rhonda says she bought it at the dollar store. I don't think we have a Daiso out here, actually. We don't. I, hang on, I gotta Google it. Where's my phone? Hang on, now I need to know. I need to know now. I wanna say we don't. Hang on. Hang on, I need to know. This is important. <laughs> Google Maps, okay. Right, and I am selling the, the paper if y'all are interested, if you don't want to go through the trouble because it is a lot of trouble. <laughs> Let's see if I can look up. Um, come on, check it in. D-A-R-S-O, Daiso. Is there really a Daiso? No, it just says gift shop. Dollar store, dollar plus, no. Tokyo discount, no. So, no. <laughs> That's what I thought. No, we don't. Everybody's talking about it online, and I'm just like, I thought Las Vegas was a place. <laughs> I, I think I'd literally have to go to California to go to a Daiso. The nearest one to you is 30 miles away, Rhonda. We're going to have to go, though. We're going to have to go. Everybody's always talking about Daiso this and Daiso that. And I'm over here like, I can't go. <laughs> There's no Daisos near me. Right. So much paper to dry. 
This would be a lot. Okay, so the process does go a lot faster, obviously, when the paper is dry. Because right now I am first drying the paper and then I'm flattening the paper. It's not the worst process. I'll check around here for you. Thank you. I need a large mass amount of these doilies. If it's if it works, then I'm gonna need a large massive amount of doilies. In the valley, been there a few times in Canoga Park. I don't even know where that is. I don't even know what Canoga Park is, but I know the valley you mean like San Joaquin. I left Cali too early. I'm sorry. I never actually drove in Cali. Like I drive there on Google Maps, but I don't know the areas. <laughs> Other than like Camarillo and Ventura, girl, I don't know what things are called. I forget. I just remember in Clueless, like when they're talking about the, going to the valley. <laughs> but I never knew what they meant. I just always thought that the valley was the area between LA and Oxnard. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the valley is the, the valley more like San Fernando? Oh, no. I probably sound silly. Okay, this looks good. I'm so proud of myself. I ironed so much. <laughs> so many papers. Paper kind of shrinks a little bit. I see that. So would I wait till they were all dry? Probably. Probably. I see that the paper gets a tiny bit wrinkled when I iron it because it was wet. Kind of shrinks down just a tiny bit. Just the tiniest bits. Then you'll never get it to be perfectly flat again, but that's pretty much as flat as it could be. All right. So now I'm going to be on the hunt for plastic doilies. Maybe I can find some on Amazon. So she called, so Rhonda, you called them plastic table runners, doily runners, something like that. I have been watching Medieval Mirage videos lately and having fun experimenting with different cool techniques. Nice. I saw she had different videos on, uh, or she, I don't know if it's a she. I saw they had different videos on how to copy dye the paper. That's where I saw the doily done. So I saw that done. Tried it, but I don't, I didn't have a spray bottle. <laughs> I didn't have a spray bottle, so it didn't go the best that it could have been. I have to go find a spray bottle and plastic doilies. And you know that big old bucket she has? The really big bucket. It's like four feet long. I actually found it in my mom's backyard. Well, not my backyard. So I think I'm going to grab it and use it. <laughs> if I find enough doilies, of course, that would work. Probably work out the best. She had really large ones and a lot of pieces of it. 
which is probably what I'm missing. Mine was a full plastic tablecloth. Yeah, that's what I'll need then. Let's see if maybe I can look it up on um, uh, Amazon. I'm just, I, like, I'm in the mood to hunt around for stuff, but I'm also, like, not in the mood to leave my house. Okay. Ooh. My fingers are hot. These ones obviously didn't get enough coffee in the middle, but I guess that's okay. Yes, use a long plastic thing. Yep, that's what I found in the backyard. And I was just like, yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not mine. I don't think I've ever had one of those. Bins found at many dollar stores. Hi, Eula. What's up? How are you? Drawing it to the edge. Looks good to me. Yes. <laughs> you guys. My stash of paper looks ridiculous. Again, though, I'm selling it, so if you're interested in purchasing it, I have 50 sheets for $20 plus shipping in my shop. I did leave the link if you guys are interested. And, um, yeah. I think I'm going to keep doing this while it's hot outside. So that'll make it easier on me. And, of course, I will iron them because I like them flat. And hopefully tomorrow, yeah, I should be getting my um, Tim Holtz line stamp by tomorrow from Amazon. So I can get back to, um, <laughs> I can get back to doing my new cards that I said I was going to do today. I planned on it. I went shopping for a line stamp, but you know what? I'm honestly like a very plain Jane type of person. And anytime I want something like I wanted for my for my prom, let's just say, okay, so for my prom in high school, I just wanted plain black heels. And if <laughs> and apparently they don't make plain black heels. They make like shimmery black heels. They make rhinestones black heels. They make black heels with big old diamonds on them. And I just wanted plain black freaking heels. And I could, it took me forever to find them. And so today I just wanted a plain stamp that just stamped lines. Like just lines. That's all I want is it to stamp a couple of lines. And y'all, it was impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> So it was Amazon to the rescue, and it should be here by tomorrow. Wait till you see some of the cool papers I've created lately. Yes, I want to see, girl. Text me photos. <laughs> Text me photos, or I'll have to make sure I keep an eye out on your channel if you show them off. I want to see. I want to see what is going on. Amazon has loads of plastic doily sizes. Thank you, Miss Gigi. I'll have to look it up. Okay, good. Solving the mystery. Thank you, Miss Gigi, because I just don't want to leave my house right now. Like, normally, you know what I mean? I'd go from store to store to store to store, see if they have what I needed. It's just not the time to do that right now. I'm telling you, I walk into Joanne's. The door just opened. I saw about 10 people in line. I said, peace out. I'm not going in there. I said, peace out. Oh, I don't even care if you have it. I'm not waiting in line. A, this long, and B, with this many people. That's just me. That's just me. 
Round fur tables, placement mats, awesome. Donna Jo, hello. How are ya? Catching me at the end, but we are here. I knew that was enough to do in an hour. Look, I still have lots more. I'm gonna go put these back outside and they're gonna dry naturally and then I'll iron them tomorrow. <laughs> Along with all the other papers I have outside, you guys. So tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be back. I should, 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 because they said it was one day delivery. Have my line stamped tomorrow to go back and finish up on those pieces of cardstock that I dyed. And was looking forward to stamping, and then I realized I don't have a line to stamp. And you know what? What is a note card with no lines? I just need some lines on this thing. Never heard of Easy Press. Easy Press. What did I miss? Oh, okay, Donna. This may have already been answered, but I'm wondering if an Easy Press would be useful for pressing, drawing your papers. Um, I've seen those possibly, um, but I just have too much paper. I'd probably have to have a 500 of those machines, but. This works for me because I do so much of it. <laughs> I do so many papers. I'd have to buy like 20 of them. You could definitely also put this on top of books, but I don't have as many books as I would need to press all this paper. And again, I could just let these dry outside. It is so hot today. It's been so hot lately. 105, 110 every day. So I was just like, you know what? Let me make this project a little bit more eco-friendly. <laughs> let me dry it outside. <laughs> like, let me take advantage of this here. Um, let me harness the power of the sun, I said. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I am done <laughs> with today's live. Again, I have pretty much coffee dyed 500 sheets of paper today and ironed them. 500 sheets of paper. Here's my sash that I have to show. It looks like a like an ancient Bible. <laughs> but it is just my stash of coffee dyed paper. Again, um... Check out my store if you need coffee dyed papers. I will have, I think I said eight sets in there for now, so I'll make some more. Anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys for checking out my shop. Thank you guys for coming by my channel. Yes, 500 cheats. I should have put that on the title. It's pretty shocking. <laughs> it's what I've done all day. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.